their writing has increased exponentially, just like my fifth and sixth graders did at the school where I was using it. The speed at which they improve their writing, I have never seen anything like it. Hello, and welcome to the Arts of Language podcast with Andrew Poudois, founder of the Institute for Excellence in Writing, or as many like to say, IEW. My name is Julie Walker, and I'm honored to serve Andrew and IEW as the Director of Marketing. Our goal here is to equip teachers and teaching parents with methods and materials which will aid them in training their students to become confident and competent communicators and thinkers. So welcome to our podcast. It's just me this week. Actually, that's not really true. I have a guest with me today because Andrew is out traveling. It's a very busy time of year for us at IEW, and he is actually speaking at a convention this weekend. And so because he's not around to do a podcast, I looked around and I thought, who can come and sit in the hot seat so I could have a conversation. And I looked up and down the hall and I found Beth O'Connor. Hi, Beth. Hi, Julie. So tell me a little bit about you and what you do here at IEW. Well, I work in the school division and I support schools that are interested in adopting our IEW methodology. So they may call in or they may contact us through the website and then I reach out to them through emails or phone calls. And also we support those teachers that have already gone through our training, and I will support them by troubleshooting if they're stuck at a certain unit or things like that. So you mean IEW isn't just for homeschoolers? (laughs) No, it isn't. We have excellent school materials that work very well in classrooms. Good. So tell me your background. How did you first hear about IEW? Well, I was a teacher for over 20 years, kindergarten through the university level, and I was hired at an elementary, well, it was a K-12 through school, but I was hired as a fifth and sixth grade teacher in Louisiana. And as I walked in a few months before, they handed me the binder, the IEW teaching writing structure and style, and said, this is what we use here. And I sighed. I was like, really, here we go again. Somebody else has another way to teach writing. And up to that point, I had no success with the way I was teaching writing. So I dragged my feet and I said, all right, well, there is some live training. So I am going to go to a live two-day seminar in Chicago and learn how to use this properly since that is what I've been asked to do. So I flew out to Chicago and took the two-day training. And within 30 minutes, I was almost crying tears of joy. It was everything I had been missing when teaching writing to little children all the way up to college students. It filled in all the gaps and made everything so simple. So tell me, who was your teacher at that workshop? Linda Makotis was my instructor at that time. Great. So, so one of our implementation coaches in our schools division. Yes. And so she was teaching school teachers. She was teaching school teachers. It was a packed room. It was oversold. <laughs> and I, to be honest, I went in. I got there late. I didn't plan to be there late, but I love to sit in the back. So I sat in the back row because I was going to leave early because who wants to spend their whole day in a summer at this workshop, and I could not get enough, and I'd never left early. Hmm, Nice. So right now, as you are counseling schools who are thinking about IEW, what types of advice do you have for them? So let's say there's a school teacher listening today, right now. What kind of advice could you give him or her in how to get started with IEW in their classroom? Well, I'm going to start a little bit before the advice is how I used to teach it. Oh, great. I used to open, I used Voyages in English for a few of my schools, and I just went through chapter by chapter. This month we're going to work on adverbs, next month we're going to work on adjectives, and we got to do every page, and we have to do all the exercises, and then if we have time, we'll get to the writing. And by the time I got to the writing, I didn't know what to do. The book would just give us an open topic, write about this. But I was like, yeah, but how do, we, how do I teach them how to do that? So kind of a blank page type exactly. assignment. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And so the advice I give teachers, I don't even have to go past that story. Once I start talking like I just did, they're like, that's exactly what I'm struggling with. IEW does not start with a blank page. We use source text, and we teach the students how to create keyword outlines 
in a different way in every single unit. So they each build upon each other. So it's not just, oh, we outline. It's a lot more than that. These outlines make amazing papers once they go through the process. Right. So a teacher then who's interested in perhaps adopting IEW as a part of their school program, what would you recommend that they do first? I would recommend that they talk with their administrator, but try to find out, are we just going to pilot it in your school? Do you want to be that one teacher to give it a shot? And if that's the case, we have DVD training that you can go through. If it's the whole school is struggling and writing has been an issue for years, then we might talk about having live professional development. Send Linda Makotis your way or one of our other implementation coaches, or they can give you the same training that I attended. Or if there's just a handful of teachers, we also have structure and style writing workshops, which are being offered this summer in three cities across the country. We have Charlotte, North Carolina, Aston, Pennsylvania, and Elmhurst, Illinois. Great, great. So if you had a microphone, hypothetically, in front of you and wanted to speak to either homeschooling parents or classroom teachers about the advantages of using IEW, what would you like to share with them? I come from a unique perspective because I am a homeschooling parent and I was a classroom teacher. So my children are all using IEW and their writing has increased exponentially, just like my fifth and sixth graders did at the school where I was using it. The speed at which they improve their writing, I have never seen anything like it. So my advice, don't think about it, just use it, because we are here to support you. And that is the other thing I really want to make clear, is if a teacher does, or even a parent, decides to try to use the IEW methodology, we are here to support you. We don't just train you and then walk away and say, good luck with all that. We are here to help you along. (laughs) Yes. Okay, so another question, and I think our listeners love this question whenever I have a When Andrew's Away type podcast. Is there a particular product you would like to give as a gift to five lucky homeschooling parents? Well, yes, I would like to pick Following Narnia, the volume one. That is the one I am currently teaching myself in a co-op class, and The students love it, and the parents are so happy with it, so I would pick that one. Great. So we'll have a link in our show notes of how you can enter that drawing, and we will choose five lucky winners, and you will have until the end of April 2018 to enter that drawing. But since you're also working in the schools division, do you have a particular product that you would like to give as a gift to, oh, let's say two or three, let's say three school administrators? Well, definitely. I think the most beneficial product would be what we have is called the Handbook for Administrators and School Leaders. And this product, it helps those administrators decide how to implement and then what the steps to take year after year to make sure that the implementation is successful in their schools. Great. So school administrators or even teachers, if you are listening Five-day-a-week school teachers, if you're listening and want to enter your school administrator in the drawing, that's okay. You can enter other people in the drawing, and we will choose three lucky winners. Again, by the end of April, we will notify the winners and let them know. Actually, not just let them know, but we'll mail you a copy. So that's very nice of you, Beth, to give away some of those products. (laughs) And we're so grateful to have you on our team. You moved from Louisiana to be here in Oklahoma with us, and we're so grateful for that. Well, thank you, and I love working for IEW. It's been a true blessing. Thanks so much for joining us. If you enjoyed this episode and want to hear more, you can subscribe to this podcast in iTunes or Stitcher. Or just visit us each week at IEW.com slash podcast. Until then, on behalf of Andrew Poudois and the team at IEW, I thank you for the privilege of allowing us to partner with you on this educational journey toward better listening, speaking, reading, writing, and thinking.